Hello and welcome to the next module where we are going to learn what is a domain record, what are the different components of a domain record and what each record means. If you remember in the last module we saw the analogy to uh, the web to, to the entire web and the website hosting domain name and the internet and if you remember the domain name was the address which points to your website. So this domain name, uh, each domain name is associated with something called a domain zone file. So this zone file actually contains all the details uh, which are required for the browser or anyone to come to your address, that is your website. So this zone file, I've just opened one of the zone files for the domains roadcaps.com. So this zone file has multiple sections to it. One says A, AAAA, C name, MX, TXT, SRV, NS, and so on. If you look at Wikipedia, there are numerous uh, resource um, types. Of this, not all are actually used. For example, CDS and CERT are rarely used. The common ones people use are A, AAA, C name, DNS, MX, NS, SRV and TXT. So now let's look at this particular domain. So what exactly does the A have? So A usually points to the exact IP address to which your domain in which your domain is actually located. Going back to the word document. So uh, now this hosting, this land has a certain IP address associated with it. That is indicated by the A record. So now this A record points to the physical IP address where the website is for roadcaps.com is being hosted. So now this currently we are not supporting IPv6 here so this is empty otherwise this will also have an IPv6 address. Coming to C name, C names are usually like subdomains so for example if uh, uh, for this domain say the email I am locating at uh, email.secureserver.net what I do is if I type email.roadcabs.com it takes me to email.secureserver.net as you can see so now it has come to secureserver.net so that's what it means same thing FTP points to the base IP address www so the same domain can be accessed by www roadcabs.com as well as without www.com so both are essentially the same they point to the both uh, the same uh, IP address that is 50.63.202.44 moving down we come to the mail exchanger so the mail exchanger is where the email for this particular website is configured so now since this is located with uh, this domain is hosted with GoDaddy I'm using their default email provider which is mailstore1.secureserver.net and smtp.secureserver.net so this is where the emails for this particular domain is hosted this domain does not contain text records but usually text records um, can be anything ranging from email verification to uh, something as simple as say if you're doing a google site verification they might require a txt record to be added so srv similarly srv is for services say you're locating say uh, google chat or uh, uh, microsoft link or something like that or any sip module on your uh, particular website so that service can come here for example you can name it on msn messenger and all that on your website and that link you need to just add a record here and if you see all of these, uh, at least for mail exchanger, they have a priority associated with it. So this priority is like the first one, where the first priority should be given to whom and the second priority should be given to whom. So now the first priority here will be given to uh, smtp.secureserver.net and second preference will be given to mailstore1.secureserver.net. The priority, the number lower, the lower the number, 
the higher the priority. And next we come to name servers. If you see name savers are the ones uh, which actually tell your uh, browser where exactly the website is running. So now in our case, so this will point to uh, ns73.domaincontrol.com and ns74.domaincontrol.com. So these are GoDaddy's name servers and whenever a browser request comes to broadcaps.com so what happens is the control is transferred to this particular name server and this is the server which resolves like in which IP address your particular website is running. So to summarize now we've learned like what is a domain zone file, what are the different components or types and what each record means.